What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Oh, welcome this is your first time here. Guys, let's try to pretend that everything is right in the world. Let's pretend that we don't have an open southern border that hundreds of thousands of people are crossing every month in the United States illegally. Let's pretend that there's no war going on. Let's pretend that there's no possibility of World War III breaking out. Let's pretend that there's no possibility of nuclear war. Let's pretend that there's not going to be any side effects or repercussions to all of this. Let's pretend that <coughs> this never happened. Let's just pretend that everything is fine in the world. All besides the inflation that we're seeing right now. You know, when you go to the grocery store to pick up those groceries you need, when you're going to buy anything, that price has kept increasing. And it's going to continue to do so because the federal government is on a massive spending spree. And every couple of months, there's a new spending package, a new stimulus package, a new infrastructure bill, a new request for hundreds of billions of dollars every few months to be sent, you know, for a war effort. And so that is causing the inflation that we're seeing, or the biggest, the largest majority of it anyway, because the more currency that they borrow from the Federal Reserve and you throw that currency into circulation, the less and less all currency is actually valued at. And that's why you're seeing the prices keep increasing every time you go to the grocery store. You know, you write down the price today. If you go shopping today, make sure to note the prices on the things you normally buy. Check back next week and see where those prices are at next week and the next week. And you'll see the actual inflation going up and up and up. And like I said, to pretend that everything else is fine besides that inflation. And even with just that inflation that's happening, it's going to be very, very difficult in the coming months and the coming years. And like I said, it's not going to get better. It's going to get worse because they keep printing and printing and printing and making the dollar lose value. So if you're already, you know, living paycheck to paycheck and barely able to make, you know, ends meet, barely able to afford enough food to feed your family, some shoes on your feet, some clothes on your back, some gasoline in your vehicle, and a roof over your head. If you're having struggles right now affording that, and most people are, it's going to get worse because inflation is going to get worse and worse. Your earnings might go up some, but it's not going to catch up or be equal to the inflation. And a lot of people who are already on that poverty line are going to be starving. They're going to be homeless. They're going to be in a very bad situation. And I've been, myself personally, in that situation before. I've been homeless. I've experienced hunger pains. We have been living way below that poverty line before. And, you know, if you're on that poverty line right now, living paycheck to paycheck, it's going to get much worse. If you are what's considered middle class, then you're going to drop down and most likely be in that poverty line or even homeless yourself, depending on your finances now. If you are drawing, you know, disability on a fixed income, Social Security, food stamps, that might increase a little bit, but it's not going to keep up with, you know, the price increases and the, and the inflation that we're seeing. So it's going to be difficult for everyone besides, you know, the mega super rich that's bringing in millions of dollars every year. They'll probably be okay because they have the resources, they have the land, they have the gold, they have the silver, they have the cryptocurrencies, they have the currency, they have everything they need to survive. So just looking at the inflation, the rich will be okay. They might experience a little bit of a little twinge in their wallet, but overall they'll probably be okay. Poor on the poverty line, middle class, are going to suffer the most. And they keep printing. They keep throwing currency into circulation. It's like they're trying to crash their dollar. But let's just pretend that they're not trying, that it's just stupidity on their part. They don't want to cut back spending, spending, and they think they can keep printing and spending forever with no consequences. You know, in fact, they actually tried to convince everyone that the currency printing and throwing that money and the currency into the system doesn't cause inflation. It actually decreases inflation according to the Biden administration. We all know that's not true. 
because we see that inflation every time we go to buy anything. So guys, with everything else out of the picture, just this inflationary issue we're facing, it's going to get bad. And if you'd have been prepping, which I hope a lot of you have, I hope all of you have, started prepping one, two years ago or even before, you'd be well on your way, you know, to having a good stockpile put back. But that stockpile will eventually run out. Essentially what you're doing is you have bought food and stockpiled that, say, a year ago at those prices a year ago. So you can eat at those prices for another year. It offers a buffer. It's what it offers. So you need to keep self-reliance in mind. You need to try to figure out what you can do, you know, where you are with what you have to become more self-reliant. If you have a small area, you know, say, you know, 10 by 10 garden space you can till up, do that. And it's great, you know, if you can provide all the food that you and your family eats on your own property. But most people aren't going to be able to do that because, you know, most people live on a very small acreage. They may have a quarter of an acre, half an acre, and they'll have enough space to actually grow, you know, all the food that a family of, say, four needs to eat. So do what you can. Don't get discouraged by that. Do what you can to provide as much as you possibly can where you are. Your garden that you grow, you know, if it's 10 by 10 foot, 20 by 20 foot, can grow a lot if you use intensive gardening methods. If you can have some chickens and some rabbits for meat and eggs, then you'll be doing good. You can provide a lot of your own food, actually. And especially if you supplement, you know, that food you produce on your own property through your rabbits and chickens and your garden area. If you can supplement that through hunting, you know, if you can deer hunt, if you can squirrel hunt, if you can fish, if you can trap, if you know about identifying edible plants and preparing those, you can go out and forage and harvest those. The little things will go a long way to providing for your family. If you can provide your own food, then you won't need to be actually spending that money for that food. And you can use that you know, to keep a roof over your head, to keep shoes on your feet, to keep the heat turned on, to keep gasoline in your automobile to go back and forth to work if you still have a job. Do everything you can to provide everything you can where you are. You know, if all you have is, you know, a balcony where you can put in a container garden, get some five gallon buckets, fill up with some good soil mixture, drill some holes in the bottom of that, and plant all you can out there on that balcony. If you can grow in a window sill, everything you can do, it, don't, it doesn't have to be, you know, 100% of everything you eat. Anything that you can grow to provide will make it easier. It's a it's a benefit. It's a plus. So guys, don't get discouraged because you don't have, you know, this homestead to grow everything you need on. Do what you can because every little bit's going to help. Because this inflation is going to keep getting worse and worse, and that's without everything else that's going on. If you combine this inflation we're seeing with everything else that's going on, it's going to get really bad. We're in a world of hurt right now, guys, and I hate to sound like the doom and gloomer but it's just the facts if you look at the inflation if you look at the southern border if you look at what the globalists are trying to do if you look at the potential of all this and all the lockdowns we had and potential more of that in the future if you look at the possibility of world war three nuclear war uh emp attacks cyber warfare cyber attacks on the power grid the banking infrastructure we're up shit creek and i don't know how far it's going to go how bad it's going to get but guys in my opinion the united states is going to crumble economically into the status of a third world country and that's you know at a best case scenario in my opinion because we could be radioactive before this is over with it's difficult to say what's going to happen but don't get discouraged pray and prepare as best you can with what you have where you are. Now guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video, hopefully.